Buddy, heel tracker. Heel. Good heel. Good heel. Good heel. Good heel. Heel tracker. Good. 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 Heel tracker. And a boy. Heel. Come on. Good. 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 Back. Good heel. I had to say heel there because he was just about to sit. Sit. Sometimes if you have a tight pivot, the dog will sit instead of walking his way through it. Good sit. Good sit. Yes. I just had him out before we started our session and we were practicing a little in the grass and he found kind of a damp piece of grass and started to roll. Um, I think some of the protesting he might have done it, done it sometime in his life might have been just because he likes to roll in the grass. Uh, he got a little bit of mud on him, so if you see it, I'm going to brush it off as soon as it dries. Heel. Back. Good. Good. Heel. Yeah, left or right. Good. See where his head is? Good. Good. Heel tracker. Good heel, buddy boy. Heel tracker. Sit. He really likes the string cheese, don't you? Good sit. Good sit, puppy. Good. That's a nice, calm eye contact. Beautiful to see. Yes. Traffic, go right. Get him back here. Switch hands behind my back. And then I'll give him a target. But I have to actually use the loop. Good. 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 I have cheese in my right hand, ready to give it to him so I can get him to sit in the right place. The cue, the leash goes in my right hand. I'm going to step over to the side a little bit. Crack the heel. And once I get him back here, give a little tug to the other side. Put the food where I want his face to be. Sit. And then that collar is right next to my left leg. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Heel, Cracker. Heel. Good heel, buddy boy. Heel tracker. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Heel. Good boy. Good. 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 I think he really eats up the praise. Sit. Watch. Good. Now that was called air luring. I didn't have any food in my hand. It smells like food, so it's close. Good. 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 Now get him to do this for as long as you can. And if he looks away, I'm going to go at and make a little rattle on the leash. As long as he keeps looking at me, that makes it a well-disciplined sit. Yes. Not from my pocket, from my chin over in front of him. Heel tracker. Good, good, sit. Ooh, that was a fancy value of medium food. That was a 185 to the left. To the right, sit to sit. Tracker, heel. Sit. Yes. Some of this stuff is pretty easy, huh, baby? Back. Now we'll go to the left. Gotta get him to pick his butt up. Sit. Yes. There are also 90s. Back. Heel. Sit. Was that too much work for such a short distance? Yes. To the right. Heel. Sit. Sit. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. 
trap the rail. Twirl, looking that way, step in. The food stays right almost touching his mouth. Sit. Yes, those are three twirls. I could switch hands, or sometimes I could do this with my right. Get it to look to the right, spin. Step in on this side, bring him around, and back to center. Yes. Track her. Twirl. I mean, spin, sorry. Spin to the right. That's it. I was just thinking I'm going to do one on my left side, and that's a twirl. I'll show you in a second. Track her. Let me get the cheese. Track her. Spin. Step in, bring him around, bring my foot back. So the only footwork is I take my one step forward, twirl, bring him around, okay. Ah, twirl, bring him around, come on baby. Pick your butt up, sit. Heel is almost the same thing as the left. I'm gonna drop my left foot back to get him to go far enough back, and then I'm gonna put my feet together. So. I say heel on the left, track her. Heel. Ooh, he jumps into that and he goes around and in front of me. Yes. Now if I want him to circle, he's not going to circle forward. This is going to be a twirl. He's going to look to the left, I'm going to drop my left foot back, and then I'm going to put my left foot forward. So the first thing on a, a twirl or a spin is to get him to look in that direction. Drop my foot back. Bring him around. I said, yes. Now we should be able to do that same thing while we're walking and not sit through it. So it should be a little more fun. And I want to get the cheese. Track your heel. Twirl. Atta boy. Atta boy. Yes. Now also, here. 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 Yes. Oh, look how fast he came. He likes his food games. He definitely does. Good, good, yes. I'll have a piece of food in my right hand because I know I want to get him to sit in the right place when he finishes. The leash and the food is in my right hand. I'm not going to drop straight back. I'm going to drop my left foot back to this side of my body. Tracker. Go right. Once I get him over here, switch hands, put my feet together, hold the food where I want it to be. Beautiful. Yes. Here, Tracker. Here, Tracker. Good, good, sit. So when we're walking, the leash is in my right hand. If I need to, I could snap forward or to the right. If he's going too slow, I might snap, snap forward. But I also, if I don't want to snap, maybe I'll just go a little quicker, get him to speed up, go the right speed, go normal, and then praise like crazy when he's in the right position. I use my left hand real close to his head and to stop, when I stop, I say sit, or if he's sitting slow, I go what I call together and touch, and I tuck his butt forward. I call it together and touch. So the leash goes into two hands, right hand close to the dog, a little tension up on my left hand, because I don't want him adjusting the front towards the rear when we sit. If we're walking and he's going too fast, I'm going to say no heel, and I'm going to give a, a check towards his tail. Or if we're walking, and I want to go to the left, I say back and I put my left foot right in front of both of his feet, stopping his forward motion, keeping his nose in front of my leg, feet go together and I keep leading with my left. Yep. Good, good. Yep. That was a 180 pivot to the left. Sit the forward. Back. Good, good. See that? Have to stay good every time the left or leg either shuffles or cross that. Back. And I got to go quick enough that he doesn't sit. I'm kind of pushing his head. But as it said, that was without even asking, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, as I curve his spine, it's more comfortable for him to either shuffle or cross step with his left rear leg so he could learn the proper position in the pocket, they call it. Tracker, heel. Snap right, turn to the left, switch the leash behind the back. Heel. Come on, heel, tracker. Heel, tracker. Heel, back, heel, heel, back. Now as dogs progress, a lot of times when I'm teaching the left, heel, I say back and put my left foot in front of him at the same time. I got heel, gotta go quick enough he doesn't sit like that. But eventually, sit, 
when I'm walking with the dog, when I say back, they'll stop their forward motion and then I'll put my left foot in front. As they start to realize it means, look out, Alan's coming in your lane. Heel, back. There it is. Heel, good. Good. See his spine is curving, so he adjusts his left rear leg. Good. You're good. Figure it out, baby. Heel. Here, tractor. Comes fast, sits close. I can say yes because he came fast and sat close. I'll mark it. I'll say yes. And then a second piece of food, watch. I'll make him do this for a while. Don't blow off the sit in front or the sit next to you. You want him being calm, and when he's looking at me, he's not getting in any other kind of trouble. Right? Good, good. My left finish, eventually I wiggle my hip, but right now I take a big step. See how he jumps into that? I love it. Yes, beautiful. Heel. Sit. Stand. Come on. Okay. Good. Good. This is at the good of the vet and at the groomer. Little pressure right on the shoulder blades. Yes. I have the food in front of him. If I had it on my chin and he looked at me, he would actually move his feet. Yes. Good job, tracker. Heel. Nice, buddy. Now we'll go look for some trouble. After we play.